I mean that if you come to me and say hello i wouldn't i would hop on the high and say hello my guy sit down my sister sit down my girl let's talk what's going on welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i am the beauty mom so first i'm gonna apologize that i haven't posted any video for the past two weeks it's not my intention um i tried to do a vlog i actually did a vlog and i was gonna post it but i don't know what's happening i've not been able to export the video from my laptop to youtube i don't know why i don't know what i can do i've googled everything possible i've done i've read anything i could read to do that but i still couldn't do that so um yeah that's why i haven't posted anything since then it's been a long time coming i should have done this um earlier but i don't know i don't know why i didn't do it really um i really don't know but i guess well better late than never so today's video is going to be a get to know me tag video um so i think it's high time you guys know a little about me and um yeah basically so we're gonna get right into okay. it. picking up the questions from the internet um and hopefully there are things you want to know about me so let's get back to it guys so the first question is what is my full name okay my full name is susan aji for wabaji what does my name mean susan means i don't know when i checked it, it mean it meant rather um lily so i like to define it as gracefully beautiful you know ladies are really beautiful and graceful means graceful so why don't i just go with gracefully beautiful uh, okay am i named after anyone nope i don't think so i would have to ask my mom but i don't I don't think where am so. I from? I am from um I am from okay. This is how it is. I like to say I'm from Undo State, but by birth I am from Benwe State. My dad is from Benwe, my mom is from Undo, but um because of I don't know anything about the benway people i'm from idoma actually um i like to stick with what i know so that in case i need to explain myself i can explain myself so i like to go with i am from undo state where was i born i was born in lagos nigeria still based in lagos nigeria. where did i grow up i grew up in lagos as well did i look up to growing up my mom my dad yes just those two what are my best characteristics um i think i'm i i know for sure i'm very patient i'm a patient person i am slow to anger really slow to anger. one of my favorite things about myself i like to smile i smile a lot yes so i like the fact that i smile a lot um i like the fact that i am good at what i do i'm artistic so yes that's one of my favorite things about myself and i'm a good person generally i like to think i'm a good person i know i am a good person what am i saying i am a good person yes so that's it which of my parents are my closest to hmm let's see i used to be really close to my dad then he died so now i guess i'm left to my mom yes what is my best physical feature physical feature i think my lips yes i think i because i have a very beautiful smile i have luscious lips don't you think i think i do though yeah and i have really nice eyes i think i have generally generally my face my face yes what is my biggest accomplishment um 
being a mom and having my own business yes that is my greatest or my biggest accomplishment yes being a mom it's been like the most beautiful thing that has ever happened to me i have two kids by the way two boys yes two strong boys that's <laughs> my eye color mm, i don't think it's black but it's brown i'm coming let me check let me check mm, makeup never my last one see okay i think it's like black brown sorry like the hazel not kind of brown yeah it's the most important thing in my life my family my family i cannot i wish there was another thing to qualify family apart from family. my family they are the most important thing in my life my kids my husband my siblings my mom the most important what is my favorite color my favorite color hmm. i'm confused though growing up i think up to now i'm still a fan of red and black but now i'm turning towards purple i don't know why but anyways yes yeah, just those three colors who is my favorite actor do i have one but i'm going to go with liam and Ford. I know, I know, I know. My favorite actress, my favorite actress, my favorite actress, my, who's my favorite actress. Yes, I've always loved Sandra Bullock. Yes, always, always. I've always loved Sandra Bullock. So yes, Sandra Bullock is my favorite. Actress. My favorite musician. Yee! I'm a diehard Mariah Carey fan. Yes, yes, I know Mariah Carey. Yes, I love her. I love her yes what is my favorite food um hmm. i used to like pasta like anything pasta spaghetti macaroni and all that but ever since i gave back i'm turning towards bread and tea i knew bread and tea i can take that all day long am i scared of heights Yes, I'm not going to lie. I am scared of heights. Really scared of heights. Yes, very, very scared of heights. Please, I'm not ashamed. I'm scared of heights. Thank you. I, I maintain that. Mm, no, I don't think so. Because um, I know I'm not. Because growing up was... Um, um, I was always taught to live and be contented with what I had or have. So, growing up, I've never really wanted something I know I couldn't afford or wanting to get something by all means or having really high taste. And I really wouldn't do that because I like to stick with what's in my pocket if I know I can only get me a cup of ice cream. I'm going to buy a cup of ice cream. I wouldn't go get a bucket of chicken or something. And I, I'm not. And I wouldn't do that to someone. Should I go out with someone and someone is asking what do I want? I'm not going to go and start picking everything everywhere and all that. No. So I'm not high maintenance. Am I more likely to avoid conflict or engage it head on? To be honest. I'm more likely to avoid conflicts because in the first place I do not like not I'm not scared of confrontations but I would rather not um, start I don't know I'd rather not get myself involved in something that would involve me having a confrontation with someone or something that would cause some kind of rift or misunderstanding I like to avoid trouble I love peace so much so that's why I'm more of a talk less person and i'm really calm and like i said i'm really patient i'm um, a fan of any sports well one secret i used to be a swimmer yes i used to swim i used to represent lagos state yes i used to be a professional swimmer i used to go to other states and represent lagos state back then when i was in uni i represented my school in my university in swimming competitions around nigeria so yes but then 
life happened i grew up and i got married and you know life just happened i'm a good cook eh 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 Eh, eh. Someone will see me dancing and think, oh my god, she can't cook. No, okay, let me do it like this. On a scale of 1 to 10, I think I am a... 8. Yes, 8. Because, yeah, I can cook. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can cook. The first person I call when something horrible happens. Mm. Call my sister. Yes. Not because I can't call my husband, but I don't know. I'm just used to calling my sister. I have two sisters, by the way. Yes, I am right in the middle. I have an elder sister and I have a younger one. So I'll call my younger sister. Do I prefer kissing or cuddling? I think I prefer cuddling. Yes. Yes, I prefer cuddling. Do I have a whole lot of acquaintances or just a few very close friends and why? I don't have a lot of acquaintances. I don't have very close friends. Why? I don't know. You know what? I think this discussion, this particular one is for another day because all my life, literally all my life since I have been going to school and meeting people. People always have the first impression about me that I am a snob or I am proud or I am, I wouldn't say defensive, but they just have this opinion that I am not easily accessible to talk to. I, I will probably snob them and I am none of those things. I don't know why people think that. Like I smile a lot. Okay, I can be so shy and if I go out, like if I'm in a crowded place, I'll probably be one of those people that just sit somewhere and observe everything. I'll just probably observe everything and not say a word to anybody if I don't know anybody there. But doesn't mean that if you come to me and say hello, I wouldn't. I would hop on the high and say hello, my guy, sit down, my sister, sit down, my girl, let's talk. What's going on? But people just have that impression about me that I'm a snob, I'm proud. Do I have a tattoo? no why i'm indifferent to tattoos really if i was gonna get one it would just be one little tiny one somewhere here yes just somewhere maybe like a love symbol or something but i'm i don't have i've never thought of going to get one so do i have any bed marks if so where oh i have a lot of bed marks a lot a lot a lot all over my body really all over. do i believe in love at first sight well it doesn't let me think first i'm trying to think if it has ever happened to me but um love at first sight. i don't think so i don't think such exists because I believe they're just um i don't know for two people to want to be together it's way past love i more i like to think of it more as an attraction at first sight not love it takes a whole lot of um, other things yeah i love things in between attraction and love so you have to meet all those things before you can have comfortably or confidently say you love someone what was the last thing i bought guess makeup brushes yes i got some brushes i got new makeup products actually so yeah who performs the most random act of kindness out of everyone i know my husband yeah it's really kind and sweet and gentle and generous and lovely and beautiful yeah. Eh. Do I be? <laughs> Who sent the last text message I received? Please guess. My sister. Yes. The one I would call if anything horrible happened. Who was the last person I ate dinner with? My husband and my kids. Okay, last question. I don't even know how many questions I've answered, but it's been fun. So, last question. What scares me about aging? 
having to depend on people to help me do things yes that's what scares me about aging because growing older comes with some burdens i don't know so i really get scared and because i don't i don't want to have to be like a liability to someone i don't want to have to be a burden to somebody or people so that's one thing that really scares me about aging guys i hope you enjoyed this little get to know me don't worry sooner or later sometime later i'm going to go more in depth into myself so guys thank you so much for watching this video i really enjoyed today's video making this video because i don't know it was just so fun for me and i hope it's fun for you so please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel please 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 thank you guys till, I, till my next video Bye.